Welcome back. A major tragedy was averted at Dabali on Wednesday. An aviation turbine fuel tanker caught fire. Luckily, the tanker was empty. However, the tanker got partially burnt. Locals have demanded that the tanker should not be allowed to be parked at the roadside. An aviation turbine fuel tanker parked in the private property of Peter Wallace caught fire on Wednesday. The incident occurred at around 12 in the afternoon. Fire brigade reached at the site and controlled the fire within 20 minutes. Eight tyres of the 10-tyre vehicle turned into ashes. The land on which this tanker was parked belongs to Peter Wallace. He seemed horrified with the incident. So suddenly, the Uzo Lagot Lagot Corrod Nide Uzata. So Corrod Lagta 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 Ile Lani, the tanker and the Lagluzo Tyra, Puilo. Maggie, I'm Sarge Buell and I'm the phone Kelo and Kill the party one Kelde Kundega in Kona Hai Tangare. Punch member Pratap Madulkar said that in spite of so many complaints, the concerned authorities have failed to act. Pesapoili, Ami Panchay in Tarao Galasan, I knew Tarao Gatlo. This airport is a tanker, petroleum product. This is a park, a highway, a four lane road. This is dangerous. This is a major thing. 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 This is a major uh, steps go check. Our reporter from Dabalim, Surendra Madkaikar. Zambian national football team arrived in Goa on Wednesday morning. Ranked 80th in the FIFA rankings, Zambia will play two friendlies during their week long tour of Goa. This is the celebration of 50 years of existence of the Goa Football Association and is supported by the state government. Zambia's coach, Air Renard, is determined to produce a strong performance from his boys. Coached by Frenchman Air Renard, the Zambian team landed at Dabuli early on Wednesday morning. The strong Zambian team will play a golden selection on Saturday and India on Tuesday at the Nehru Stadium in Fatorda. GFA members welcome the team at the airport. Zambia will have their first training session on Thursday at Raya Ground at 4 o'clock in the evening. Thank you for your reception. And uh, it's a great pleasure for us uh, to come in India. For most of us, it's uh, the first time in India. That means we want to show a very good image about uh, the Zambian football. We have a young team for this, uh, this trip and uh, I hope we can have uh, two very good games against, uh, against your team. India as a football team in, uh, what expectation do you have from the Indian team? To be honest with you, I don't know a lot of things about uh, the Indian football now. I was in China because I work in China. I know in Asia the, the football is, a, is a, at a good level. That means uh, it won't be easy for us, but uh, we have to show an, uh, a very good image of our football, especially a football from Africa. GFA is hoping to draw a capacity crowd at this venue for the two matches. Alongside powerful football by these players, the crowd can enjoy live music performances by Belinda and the Tropicanos, one of Goa's well-known Latin bands. The highlight of the band will be an original song, especially composed by Belinda Fernandez and Armand Duarte for the occasion of the Golden Jubilee of the GFA titled Go Goa Goal. With Bureau Inputs, our reporter from Vasco, Surendra Madkekar. Four-time champions, Dampo Sports Club have stretched their winning run to seven matches in the 2011-12 I-League on Wednesday. 
Dempo have won seven out of seven rounds so far this season and sit pretty at the top of the table. Dempo hammered Shillong Lajong by five goals to kneel at Fatoda on Wednesday. Dempo have been in an outstanding form this season. They have scored with a lot of ease while being very stingy at the back. Dempo have scored 23 goals in their seven matches while conceding just two. Against Shillong, Dempo got their goals through Anthony Pereira, Ranti Martins, Coco Sakibo and Clifford Miranda. A reporter from Fatoda, Mayur Naik. And with this, we come to an end of this news bulletin. Keep watching Prudent Media. Goodbye.